According to Money Transfers, 25.7% of people worldwide already use mobile payments, and this number will grow to over 33% of people by 2024. Modern customers want everything to happen from the comfort of their phone, and companies need solutions to provide them with frictionless payment. A digital wallet keeps customers on your platform and their development can be outsourced, making more time for research and development. Holy Wally is providing a white label wallet as a service to enable just that. So John, how is Holy Wally helping fintechs get to market faster with the white label platform you've got? Our value proposition is aggregating a number of cutting edge backend technologies into a single platform and combining that with a white label wallet front end. And so what we do by, by curating these capabilities early on is allow them to pick and choose how, what services they want to offer and how they want to distribute them. Is there a big consultation necessary up front, and what do those integration costs look like? As we grow, we're maturing this, but we really used to start off with uh, kind of a discovery process up front, but that's a pretty brief, brief process that we people can get through. And what we're moving towards is more of a prepackaged model, where we have different services, different capabilities, prepackaged and ready to go. And then they can take that, do some minor customizations, and be ready to go to market. So, John, what does it cost a fintech to start working with Holy Wally? So right now we do have an upfront fee based on the complexity and the size of the project. As we're going and launching the next version of the platform, we're looking to really drive that down and instead employ only a model where we're growing as our customers grow. So really taking away the barriers to entry into the market and helping them innovate and produce new products faster. Is it big fintechs that are your targets or specific types of service or where's the sweet spot for you? Like a lot of startups, we start off like with the bigger enterprise type folks. But what we really want to do where we think our, our sweet spot really resides is SME banks, emerging fintechs, you know, people that are transitioning into a more sophisticated model. But why does wallet as a service make sense for fintechs? It makes sense because we're helping them control that payment experience. We're, and we're bringing together an intuitive user experience that's branded with their color scheme, their logos, their look and feel. And some of the validation we think is there is that we've had some fintechs that used to have their own front end. Right. And they're looking to get rid of it. Because what it comes down to is that they're good with the back end services. And so by getting rid of that front end component that really may not be their bread and butter, they can focus on what they're good at and in maturing that process and bringing it forward. In terms of a differentiator, they just don't see that front end as being meaningful. It's really the back end services they want to focus on. And that's it. Their value proposition is on the back end. And that's where their skill set is. And that's where their focus is. And so by us focusing on that front end and aggregating these services together, it really works for us. And with our partnership model, that's true as well. We partner with a bunch of a number of back end providers, but they don't have that consumer facing element. As you think about scaling Holy Wally, how has Microsoft been a great partner in terms of the infrastructure and tool set? I mean, Microsoft has been great in, in, in working with us from the start, both from a technology standpoint, uh, providing support with the Azure platform. Uh, as we're getting into things like, what does our data strategy look like? Um, providing some feedback and some thoughts there. And, and finally, making connections. Helping us understand what their customers are asking for, what they're seeing in the market. And then also making introductions to partners and customers uh, you know, in an appropriate manner when there's a match there. So Microsoft really has been a strong partner across the board as far as that goes. Uh, as a founder with customers around the world, building on the Microsoft global tool set and relationships that they've been able to bring to the table for you, how do you identify where you should be based <laughs> and where you should grow your business? Where the team is based is kind of separate from where our customers are based. I think that what's more important for us is to identify and launch region by region because there's similarities in services and needs within each region. And so you're really able to curate a consistent solution or product set in that region and grow there and before you expand into another one. Is so, that a customer first assessment or it's a team first assessment? We're very customer focused and pay very close attention to market signal and what our customers are saying and try and align that. So, because you tend to see similar threads within each region in certain themes. And so that's what we're really trying to align as we go forward that defines our roadmap and our expansion strategy. 
What kind of additional capitalization do you need to make Holy Wally the standard for wallet as a service? We are in the middle of a seed raise right now. Uh, we're looking to raise another one to 1.5 million. Um, and then really in the next few phases, somewhere between uh, series A, we're looking at somewhere between five to seven million uh, to bring it to the next level. Thank you.